Public integrity cases are often prosecuted in federal court because they involve bribery and often they're involving public officials and there are particular specific statutes for misuse of a public office and bribery. You have extortion cases that are sometimes brought. A lot of times it's going to be in the form of misuse of a public office to obtain money, to obtain a benefit, to obtain a favor, an exchange of favor. It could be somebody on a city council who is voting a certain way or pushing or advocating for, uh, advocating for a developer, a uh, certain zoning change in exchange for some money or some sort of benefit to themselves or their family or to someone else to whom they designate. Bribery could work the same way money that's uh, more overtly given in exchange for some sort of favor. Oftentimes uh, you have a situation where you have a public official who's misusing or alleged to have misused their, their position, but the, the case may be in a gray area or defense may be that I wasn't doing that because it's such a, a convoluted or removed transaction. In other words, it's not such a uh, an overt or blatant here's money for this deal you may be two or three levels or layers of people removed from the action and the vote and the favor you have bribery and extortion cases that could be used or brought by the US Attorney's Office also for non-public officials in other words somebody's bribed to make something happen or go try to make something happen with a public official extortion could be brought in a private setting, a private transaction where somebody is trying to blackmail or extort money from someone. In other words, pay me money or I'm going to make something bad happen to you or I'm going to disclose some information that's going to result in something bad for you or harm you in some way.